What's up, friends? Welcome to this class. Thank you for tuning in. Short class today. We'll be opening up the body, moving the body. Very quick, very efficient, very effective. Just something to do possibly after your day at work. Something to just move the body to feel good. Nothing too challenging. Um, but as always, it will be a slight challenge because that's why we're here. We're here to move the body. We're here to feel good. So all you need is a mat. Let's get started. So let's get started in a child's pose very quickly. Bring the toes together, heels apart, knees about the width of the mat, and slowly start to walk your hands forward. Bring that forearm down, or the forearms rather down, and walk those fingers as far as you can. Maybe bringing the forehead down to the mat. I'll keep mine lifted just for the microphone. Breathing in here, feeling your breath moving into the belly. Feeling those lungs expand into your rib cage and into the thighs. Starting to engage the ujjayi breath, so that ocean breath, just so you can control your movements and guide yourself through the control of breathing. That's what the practice is. The practice really is just breathing in all these different postures. Set an intention if you want to. It can be anything you want. And then slowly, let's lift the hips up off the heels, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. And then as we inhale, we're gonna arch that spine downward. So your hips are above the knees. Coming into simple cat-cow. Exhale, round the spine, reach the upper back up, press into the hands, push the floor away, hollow at that chest. Inhale, arch the spine down. Last thing to come up is the head. Exhale, round the spine, pressing into the fingers. Inhale, arch the spine down. Exhale, round. Good. Tuck your toes under. Maybe bring the hands a little bit to the front of your mat. Press up. Lift those hips up and back for a downward dog. Keep your knees bent. Press into the fingers, index and thumb. Focus on there just to get some pressure off the wrists. Maybe start to bend one knee and then the other kind of moving your way into this downward dog. You might feel a little tight. So just do what you feel intuitively in your body. Reach out from the shoulders, really reaching that chest toward your thighs. And then slowly you can either straighten those legs or keep them bent, but let's stop movement. Now on our next inhale, we're going to simply wave the spine forward into a plank pose. So shoulders above the hands. Exhale, move back to downward dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, lower. Inhale, move forward, roll that spine forward to plank. Exhale, hips up and back. Inhale, lift that left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the left foot back down. Inhale, wave that spine forward, plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up again. Now from here, you're going to inhale to a plank, but a one-legged plank. So keep your right leg lifted. Inhale, we move forward. One-legged plank. Exhale, back to three-legged dog. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, bring that right foot down. 
Inhale, lift that left leg up. Inhale, we move forward to plank, keeping that left leg lifted for a one-legged plank. Exhale, three-legged dog. Good, sorry, my voice is gone. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, bring the left foot back down. Inhale, come high onto the toes. Step, float the feet to the front of the mat. For a forward fold. Feet can be hip width apart or toes touching, whatever is good for you. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees. Let's roll up the spine. Swing those arms up. Take a slight back bend. Engage the glutes. Bring the palms together. Gaze up towards the fingers. Exhale, hands to chest in prayer. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step, float the feet back. Chaturanga. Hold it here for three, two, one. Inhale, straighten the arms, open up the chest, upward dog. Engage the glutes, holding it here. Deep breath in. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it to the chest. Inhale, lift that right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it to the chest. Inhale, lift that right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step that foot between the hands. Try not to lift the hands up. We're coming up to crescent lunge, high lunge. Gaze down at your right foot. Make sure you can see the front big toe or the first two toes. Your back leg can be straight or bent. Bent is a little harder. Try and reach that heel over your toes. So don't push it back too much. You want to try and bring it over your toes. Hold it here. Inhale, bring left arm forward, right arm back. Revolved crescent or twist. Breathing here. Inhale, right arm back up, left arm to meet. Holding it here. On your next inhale, we're gonna drop the left heel and come into a warrior two. So we're opening up the hips now to the left. On your inhale, drop that left heel. Point right arm forward, left arm back. Left toes are pointed a little inward, more so than the heel. Inhale, reverse your warrior. So reach that right arm up and over the head. Left hand can be anywhere on your left leg except the knee. Inhale back into warrior two. Deep breath here. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Take your vinyasa. So step that right foot back, lower down. Chaturanga, hold it here for three, two, one. Inhale, upward dog. Engage the glutes. Open up that chest. Broaden the collarbones. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step it between the hands. Warrior two, reaching back up. Good. On your inhale, straighten that right leg and reverse. So kind of like a reverse triangle here. Reach that right arm up and over the head. Balance yourself, pressing into all four corners of your feet. Inhale, coming back to center. Maybe shorten that stance, so heel toe the left foot a little forward, bend that right knee. We're gonna reach forward for a half moon. Press into your right foot, right hand on a block or down on the ground, opening up that chest, stacking the hips. So try and stack your left hip over the right. Really reaching up with the left hand, nice long spine, some space in your right side. 
holding it here. Exhale, bend the right knee, step the left foot back. Inhale, we move back into warrior two. Good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step that right foot back, but keep it hovered. So one legged plank. Hold this for a couple breaths. Point the toes. Inhale, come high into that left toe. Exhale, lower. One legged chaturanga. Hold it for three, two, one. Bring the right foot down. Untuck the left. Inhale, open up for upward dog. Expand the collarbones. Open up the chest, engage the glutes. Exhale, hips up and back, downward dog. Good, take a deep breath in, open mouth. Exhale, two more, deep breath in, open mouth. Exhale, last one, deep breath in, open mouth. Exhale, good. Inhale, bring the left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot. Between the hands, we rise up for crescent. Gaze down at your left foot. Make sure you can see the first toe or two toes. I'm sweating like crazy here because it's very hot where I am. I'm sweating like an animal. Holding it here, not that animals sweat, but you know what I mean. Inhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Well, some animals do sweat. Breathing. Inhale, bring the left arm back up, right arm meets it. Take a deep breath here. We're gonna drop that right heel to meet in a warrior two. Right toes are a little more in than the heel. Warrior two. Good. Left arm forward, right arm back. Chest is nice and proud. Inhale, bring that left arm up and over the head. Opening up that left side, rib cage, the latimus dorsi, the back. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Zero, stop. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step that left foot back, lower down, chaturanga, hold it for three, two, one, inhale, open up the chest, upward dog, engage the glutes, exhale, hips up and back, downward dog, inhale, bring that left leg up, exhale, step that left foot between the hands, drop the right heel, inhale, come up to warrior two, breathing here. Inhale, let's straighten that right leg. Bring the right arm to your right leg. Reach that left arm up and over for this sort of re reverse triangle. Be careful not to put your hand on your knee. You don't want to put any lateral pressure inside or outside the knee. Inhale, let's meet back. Heel toe that right foot a little forward. To shorten the stance, bend that left knee and try in one little move to come up to a half moon. Hands on a block or on your mat or on the floor in front of you. Really twisting open with your body. So we're twisting or moving open to the right. Trying to stack those hips. Thinking about those shoulders coming in one line from the top of your right fingers down to your left fingers.
Good, last deep breath in. Exhale, let's step that right foot back. Warrior two. Good. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, let's windmill the hands down. Step that left foot back, keep it hovered. We're in a one-legged plank, holding it here. Inhale, come high onto the right toes. Exhale, lower chaturanga, hold it for three, two, one. Drop that left foot, untuck the right. Inhale, extend the arms, open up the chest, upward dog. Good, broaden the collarbones. Exhale, hips up and back, downward dog. Good, let's try and hop into a squat. If you can't hop, give it a shot. If you can, go ahead. And if you really, really can't, you can just walk yourself to Malasana. Yogi squat gives me a chance to wipe all this sweat and gives us a chance to do a little arm balance. So we'll do crow. For those of you who know how to do crow, go on ahead. For those who don't, I'll try and cue it. So basically, we're gonna bring our hands about shoulder width apart, really pressing into the fingers. It's a lot about the fingers here because that's where all your weight is, in the wrists and the fingers. So you wanna keep it very engaged. You wanna work with gravity here. So you move your hips and head forward to that perfect sweet point where you're not gonna fall forward and you're not gonna fall back. And what that requires is strength in the arms. It requires bent arm strength. So we stack our knees on the tops of our triceps. I like to do it a little high because I sweat so much and my knees slip all the time. So I kind of put my knees up high, press into the fingers. I slowly start to move forward. Now the weight is going more and more into my triceps. And then I lift one foot and then the other touch the toes, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Now from here, try and step back or float back to Chaturanga from a crow. Hold it here for three, two, one, inhale, come up to plank. Good, you can always bring your knees down to do that. Arrange yourself. Exhale, downward dog. Good job. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Two more. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, deep breath in. Open mouth. Exhale, good. Now we're gonna come to a seat, so you can either simply bring the knees down and then come down to sit on your hips, extend your legs forward, or if you wanna give it a shot, you can sort of try and hop your way or float your way to a seated position. Nice to work on that, and those floats, those float throughs. Really, you just need the L-sit and the crow as well. Good, so let's come into a staff pose. It's crazy how much I'm sweating. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Try and internally rotate your thighs, your legs. Point those toes upward. Try and bring those forearms down to the mat. You can always keep your knees bent, so like that, and then grab the feet and then start to scooch your hips back until you can come into almost straightening your legs. If you have difficulty with this and you don't have too much flexibility in the hamstrings, which is fine, and you can always work on by stretching. Simple, simple how that works, huh? Breathing, lengthening, 
on your inhale, deepening on the exhale. So always using the breath in these postures to deepen, to move around slightly, do what feels good in your body. Inhale it slowly, rise up. Let's bring the soles of the feet together, the heels close to the groin. If you want a less challenging stretch, you can distance your heels from your pelvis. So again, whatever feels good in your body. You know your body better than anybody. So grab the toes. You can stay here if that's enough for you or you can slowly lower down. You can walk the forearms or walk the hands, bring the forearms down, holding this posture. Baddha Konasana. Cobbler or butterfly, bunch of names. So again, very quick, nice, effective, not, not easy. Definitely a little challenging, but good movement for the body any time of day. Not such a big commitment. Oftentimes I do that when I don't have an hour or an hour and a half to do a full practice. I'll just do something short and sweet. It's just always good to move your body no matter what. Five, six days a week, always, even when you're recovering, just an active recovery, walking, stretching, doing something, going outside. Inhale, let's slowly move up. Maybe use the hands to help your knees. Close, center on your mat. If you're not centered, let's lower down slowly. Bring your knees up to the chest, grab the outsides of the feet for goddess, or rather happy baby, not goddess. Maybe press one knee down or pull one foot down and then the other. If you want, you can straighten one leg, take a couple of breaths there, and then switch sides. Crack your toes if that feels good. Nice. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale. Extend the legs forward. Allow the feet to simply fall open. Bring the hands down, palms of the hands facing the sky taking all the space you need for our last posture, our last pose, Shavasana. I recommend staying here for three to five minutes, simply resting in stillness, resting in awareness. There's nothing for you to do here. So relinquish all control of your body, of the breath, and lay in corpse pose. It's a very fitting name because you are completely, completely relaxed. Maybe scan your body, bring that light of awareness to the tip of your toes and start to scan up. Really inviting complete relaxation into all parts of your body, making sure everything's completely relaxed, nothing is tense. So you can carry on your day in a very balanced, in a very balanced state. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this little practice and I hope to see you again soon on the mat. Take it easy, much love.